Why you give up so much? She laughed with confusion. Oh no, I don't think these things matter. I just agreed to get married to you. Such a lucky girl because grandpa is already showering his money and love on you with his both hands. Why? I don't know why you are saying this all, but let me clear one thing. I don't care about grandpa's money. I just want his love and I'm really thankful to him that he loved me as a grandchild for the past many years. And if you are you are mad at me just because you think I deserve grandpa, then I won't care because I'm tired of it all during assumptions. Think whatever you want. Holden was handing her suitcase ring on it and walked into the bathroom. But as he heard the door, tears fell from her eyes. Turning on the faucet, he cried sitting on the floor. On the other hand, Young was blankly staring the ring on his hand. Feeling a little relaxed, she took that and putting on her pajamas, she went straight to bed. As she laid on bed, the Young got up and rushed into the bathroom. When he came out, Ryan was already sleeping. When his eyes caught her beautiful face, he got mesmerized. Standing there, he was staring her without blinking his eyes. Taeyong, why I hate her so much? Why I still couldn't figure out the reason? Next morning, Ryan woke up before Taeyong, but she was waiting for him. She didn't want to disturb his sleep, so she waited for him so they can go for breakfast. She took her phone to kill the time but saw Jimin's messages. A smile appeared on his lips and exactly then the young sleeves broke. He saw her looking at her phone with a smile. Sitting straight, he asked, What's so good? Wine. Jimin is back. He texted me that he will come to meet me in evening. Hearing her, the young laid back and closed his eyes. Wine. Now please get up, I am hungry. We should go to dining room together. Taeyong, go if you want and don't try to deceive me because these stupid tricks won't work on me. You think I'm stupid? Who will think, oh, she's so sweet, hungry but still waiting for me? Wyan, why you always think negative about me? I was waiting because I thought grandpa would question you later. That was the only thing in my mind. Taeyong, shut up and let me sleep. Taking a deep breath to control her emotions, she stood up and walked out. The young was staring at the ceiling while his hands were clenched and took fist. Ryan, I was waiting for Jimin because it's been three years he went abroad for studies. Jimin, the young and me, we all were best friends, but suddenly the young started hating us both. After Taeyong, I had just Jimin as my friend. We were really close to each other and Jimin was the only one who knew I loved Taeyong. I was about to dial Jimin's number when someone snatched my phone from behind. With an annoyed face, I turned back and saw Jimin's smiling face. I immediately hugged him in his excitement. Why? Finally you are back. I really missed you, Jimin. Ah. Jimin, same here. I was also dying to see you. Breaking the hug, we looked at each other. Our faces were decorated with genuine smiles. We sat and were talking when the young came. His face was very serious as usual. Coming near us, he totally ignored Jimin and held my hand. Come and make me a cup of coffee. Jimin. Hey, Te. Long time no see. The young. Hi. Will you please stop bothering us? Now we are married and I don't like my wife talking to random guys. I felt embarrassed from the Young's behavior, but if the Young was my husband, then Jimin was my one and only best friend. I won't let this go easily. Jimin, oh, I'm sorry. I will be careful. His smile was gone. Wan, wait, why you are saying sorry? You are my best friend and you are always welcome here. And the Young, there are many people in mansion. You can ask them to give you coffee. The Young. I want you to do it for me, he said in anger. Jimin, it's alright, Wyan. We can meet later. I should go now. Wyan, you don't need to leave. I'm not going anywhere. I sat again and it made the young mad, but just clearing me, he walked in. Wyan, I'm sorry for his bad behavior, Jimin. You know that he's like this from past many years. I'm sorry on his behalf. Jimin, no, please don't say sorry. I know him. Leave him. Tell me how I agreed to get married to you. I told him everything. 
he listened me and then took a deep breath jimin so you are telling me that he just want money that's why he married you but the thing is why you were great you know that he hate you when i know he hate me but you know that i love him jimin but why and this one side love will just hurt you and what about your self respect when i thought maybe after getting married we will get a little close to each other but i was wrong i won't ask him anything from now let's see how far we can go spending some more time jimin left i went to bedroom but theong wasn't there changing into pajamas i was reading a book laying on bed hearing knock on the door i got up and opened the door watching grandpa i got confused why grandpa is everything all right do you need something grandpa no no i don't need anything sweetie i just was worried about theong he isn't back home yet do you know where he is why i don't know let me call him please come in taking my phone i dialed theong's number on the fourth ring he attended the call why hello theong where are you theong why you call me i don't want to hear your voice you don't need to be worried about me he was wrong and in the background loud music was playing why then go to hell i said in a whisper not wanting grandpa to hear that and hung up the call why grandpa he is with his friends he said he would be late grandpa he is still very irresponsible his second day's bride is waiting for him and he is with his friends don't wait for him my child and sleep good night why sure grandpa good night grandpa left and i laid on bed again next morning theong came but was sober i ignored him and got ready to go out for shopping with jimin when i was about to leave the room he asked where are you going why for shopping and by the way you have no right to ask theong i'm your husband don't forget that why really i asked him looking straight into his eyes in sarcastic tone theong shut up with whom you are going why with jimin if you are done then i have to leave theong you are not going with him why why what's wrong and the thing is i didn't ask your permission i just told you his jaw clenched in anger but taking a deep breath he said i'm coming with you and don't you dare to say a word now why but you before i could complete he walked out of room having no other choice i followed him out jimin was already out waiting for me theong we will go in my car why sorry jimin is waiting and i promised him i will go with him so if you want then you can follow us in a, your own car saying that i walked towards jimin's car but as i opened the door theong rushed and sat in the car before i could slamming the door with a nod face i sat on back seat time skip weeks passed but theong's behavior was still same as before on the other hand wyan started becoming suffocated jimin was the only one with whom she could share her feelings but in this jimin also couldn't help her theong was against wyan meeting with jimin but wyan knew that he hate them both so she always thought he was just jealous of wyan and jimin's friendship wyan called jimin because she was feeling lonely she couldn't tell grandpa about theong's behavior because he was sick and she doesn't wanted to hurt him and theong was the one she never can think of talking with so jimin was the one who can listen to her wyan i'm getting tired of this hall jimin i don't know what is wrong with him jimin i have warned you wyan this will not be an easy path wyan I know but what I should do now whenever I see hater for me in his eyes my heart hurt what I have done so wrong to get that much hate from him she became emotional and her tears started soaking her face Jimin got up of chair and hugged her to comfort her but they were not aware that someone is fuming in anger watching them very close to each other he was Theong Theong was standing in his room's balcony and watching them his grip on railing tightened some minutes later jimin left and wiping her tears wan came in room where theong was waiting for her theong how many nights you spent with him his words were like poisoned arrows 
Why? What do you mean? Are you even your senses? They are. I ask you a simple question. Why? I can't believe you think so cheap of me. Such a ridiculous person you are, Taeyong. Taeyong. Oh wow, you are the one who is playing the game and I am the one who is ridiculous. That doesn't make sense. Why? Fine. Think whatever you want. I don't care. I want divorce. She said with heavy heart. Her words made Taeyong furious. Pulling her clothes, he pinched her chin. What you want? Divorce, huh? Why? You want to go back to your gym and opa? Why? Why you care? I will go wherever I want. I just don't want to live with you anymore. I want divorce and that's it. Leaving her chin, he took a step back. I have changed my mind. I will never leave you. Why? But why? You hate me then why you want me to live with you? Why you hate me? She shouted madly. Taeyong, you want to know why I hate you? Fine. Listen, I hate you because you two-faced girl. You are a liar. When? When and what I lied to you? Taeyong, you were the one who came and said you will always live with me and you like me. I knew you were too young but I still believe that. Stupid me. I was overjoyed when grandpa took you here. I thought we will live happily forever but I wasn't aware you had other plans in your head. Taeyong, I was really happy until I found out the truth. Why? What truth? Taeyong, that you and Jivan love each other. Why? What? Who told you that we love each other? Taeyong, I heard it by my own ears. I came back from school and saw you both in garden. Taeyong, you and Jivan were holding hands, looking into each other's eyes. My heart sank when you said, I love you, Opa. To Jimin and Jimin said, I love you too. My heart shattered in thousands of pieces. You always said you love me, but on my back, you were with Jimin. If you really love Jimin, then it's obvious you were behind grandpa's money. As he complete, a tear fell from his eye. Wan was standing there shocked. Wan, oh my god, I can't believe that. Let me explain you, Pabo. We were just doing rehearsals. I told Jimin that I love you and wanted to tell you clearly. Me and Jimin were practicing so I can tell you. Taeyong, don't try to fool me, Wan. Wan, okay, okay, if you don't believe me, then ask Jimin. Taeyong, why would I believe him? Wan, okay, then ask Grandpa because I told him about this and we acted in front of him and that was the time when he found my feelings for you. If you don't trust Jimin and me, then you should ask Grandpa. Taeyong's expressions changed. Anger was gone. Taeyong, if you love me, then why you want divorce? Why? Because you made me do that. Taeyong, but you were the one who made me hate you. Listening his words, you burst into laughter. Looking her laughing, Taeyong pinched his nose embarrassingly. Why? I can't believe that you were hating us just because of a misunderstanding all these years. Why you never asked about it? Taeyong, I thought you will lie to me and I was really heartbroken. Because you and Jivan were the only friends I had, but I thought you both cheated on me. Saying that, he pulled her into his arms. You should say sorry to me for making me misunderstand you. Why, what the heck? You are the one who treated us wrong. Taeyong's lips curved into a smile. I'm sorry, Wan. I misunderstand you. I wasted our precious time hating you. I'm really sorry. Breaking the hug, Wan looked into his eyes. Wan, but I don't want to live with you anymore, Taeyong. For some seconds, he didn't say anything. Then taking a deep breath, he said, Okay, I won't force you, Wan. I was the one who was wrong and now I should be punished. If you want divorce, then I won't force you to live with me. His eyes teared up again, but he turned back to hide his tears. Taeyong, you can sleep. I'm going out. He said with heavy heart and wiped his tears. Wyan smiled sadly and Beth hugged him. As soon as Wyan's hand wrapped around him, he burst into tears. He started sobbing, holding Wyan's hands. Taeyong, I know I was wrong, but I swear I was in love with you. But I thought you cheated on me and that's why I hated you. I am really ashamed for my behavior all these years. I know I will sound selfish, but please can you give me a chance? Just one chance, Wyan. Wyan. Fine, but if you ever behave like that again, I'll kick your and will marry Jimin. Standing in front of him, she said with a naughty smile. Taeyong, 
I will kill you if you ever said that. You are mine. I was stupid to misunderstand you, but from now on, I will never give you a chance to complain. I will be a good husband. I promise. He put her in his arms and put his lips on her forehead. Next day, the young called Jimin and asked him to come to his mansion. Jimin came, and without saying anything, the young pulled him into a tight hug. Wan was also standing there, smiling, watching them hugging. Jimin, is everything all right? Wan, did you hit him on head? Wan, no, no, I didn't. Jimin, then why he is behaving like a maniac suddenly? Then the young, I'm sorry, bro. I misunderstand you both. Taking the hug, the young told everything to Jimin. And hearing him, Jimin started laughing loudly. Jimin, you are such a damn. How can you think like that? I love her, but as my best friend. Damn, I know now, but I'm sorry for my bad behavior. I hope you will forgive me, Jimin. Yeah, sure, but before beating the shit out of you, you babo, you deserve good beating first and then forgiveness. Hearing Jimin, Taeyong ran away while Jimin was chasing after him. And Wyan was laughing, watching them both happy once again like they used to before those all misunderstandings.